Hi, my name is Ron Johnson. I'm your mentor coach. Today's topic is going to be about why are you stuck and why are you unhappy? Well, for myself, recently, maybe just two or three years ago, I was happy, unfulfilled with my life, and didn't know what specific do. I was lost, and it seems that everything I ever wanted was outside my reach. That I mean, I will have and be driving to work with these divisions of, man, if I just got a lotto ticket, if I just won a hundred million dollars, I'll be happy. If I just got this, I can buy that car, I can live in this dream house, I can do all these well, wonderful things. Guess what happened? I never purchased a lot of tech for one. Second being is I didn't need a hundred million dollars to be, feel, be happy. What I needed is to feel happy with myself, feel happy with what I have and feel happy in being in my own shoes. And that brings to the point is why are you stuck? Many of us right now go through life not understanding where we are and where we're going to go, having unfulfilled purpose with no plan. Many of us think to ourselves, well, only if I got this, I'll be happy. Well, only if this happened, I'll be happy. And that can be whatever, new career, new job. What really comes down to it is that you're not happy with yourself. Let's face the real honest truth is no matter what things you purchase on the outside, you're not happy with yourself. You're not happy with your situation. And you feel frustrated, you feel suffering, and you feel like I'm stuck. I have no way out. But that's a lie. You do have a way out. The way out to any new change is within yourself. We all have that power and abilities within inside us. The difference is how do we perceive life and how would we see life? See, one of us may have one perspective. I'll give you an example. You take two people, you tell them about you ask about their life, they'll tell you one thing. You ask the second person, he'll tell you another thing. And guess what? They're completely two opposite journeys. Neither one of them can say my journey is right or your journey is wrong or what you want, that what happened in your life was right or wrong. The difference is what they perceive life. So if you're ha unhappy right now with where you are, the way to perceive life is knowing you have a choice. That's the first thing to know. Bring awareness to the fact that you have a choice will allow you energetically to actually change. Remember, there's a multitude of choices are a multitude of way of doing something, but if you're unaware that you actually have a choice, you're in defaulting the back to, to back to things that you already do and things you already go through. And that's why you feel stuck because I want all these wonderful things that I, I want all these goals, but I'm stuck here. Why can't I get what I want? I want it now. You can have it now. Let me tell you how you can have any happiness. First thing I always told you, I just told you right now, is changing your perspective, knowing you have a choice. The first thing is, have you ever understood why you have those fears? Usually you feel stuck because you have a fear against something. The fear can be, uh, if I take a risk, I don't know the outcome. And that's correct, we don't know the outcome. But what outcome we do know is if we don't take the risk, we'll still be in the same spot one year from now, two years from now, three years from now, six months from now, it doesn't really matter. Without taking a chance, you never know. The deep root cause of fear really means false evidence being real. So if you're stuck, you're unhappy. First is perspective, choice. Second thing is, why are you stuck? What's your fear? And that allows you to change where you are, is understanding your fear. And how much of that fear is really true to you? How much all that things you think about what could go wrong actually does go wrong? How many of you feel that if I did one simple thing, everything would go right. But we envision everything going right. And when it doesn't, we can't adjust. So that creates more suffering. The way to overcome more suffering is to just keep going forward. Keep moving in a direction that feels happy, feel love, and positivity. Anytime you energetically feel negative or feel down, feel sad, you energetically start attracting that. The moment you feel you have a choice and you can be better, you can do better, you can. And energetically, everything's around you looks better. If you ever feel help, need help, first thing you always do is, obviously most people do now, is turn to a YouTube video. So, so many motivational videos out there of how and what to do what and how to feel better that most of us get so confused that we just don't know what to do or don't even start. The most important thing I heard this other day, I was talking to a, to a client of mine and uh, you know, she, this person comes with a lot of his, a lot of excuses. And we, we talked about this. Say, so you always have excuses for everything or reason why. And one excuse is just in the doing, just to do it. Okay. 
Now, it may seem like everything's easy. How do you do it? And the reason why I'm able to do these things or take risk or be better is because I have faith in myself. You have to believe in yourself in order to make a change. If you don't believe in yourself, you won't be able to make a change. And that's how you start becoming unstuck. Unstuck in what you really want. Easy way to feel unstuck is this. I want you to take an eight and a half by 11 sheet piece of paper. I want you to cut it in quadrants, okay? First quadrant is what I want. Second quadrant is why I can't have it. And list all the things why you can't have it, okay? Then once you do the opposite corner, what you want, put it there. After that, draw a line under what you want and why you need this, why it's important for you. If you start to see the list, the comparison is there's only a few things that stop you, but a lot of things can happen. It means that if you find a negativity why you can't achieve what you want, it's probably doing one or two things why you can't do it. But if you achieve what you want, you get more things done. I give you an example. I always talk about this all the time, but three years, three and a half years on Monday would be since I had a full time job and I quit and became a professional trainer, coach. So my first thing is I want to become a coach because I wanted to have freedom. I love training. It allowed me to quit my full-time job. It allowed me to travel more. I make more income. You know, the list can go on and on. That's what I want to do. Other quadrant was the fear. The fear was if I can't do it, what will happen? I may not be able to have enough money. Okay, and then what? Um, I won't be able to pay my bills. Okay, then what? Uh, I won't be able to uh, afford groceries. Okay, then what, right? If you notice, I was only able to come up with a couple of things the why I can't. What will happen if I do? If I came about five or six different things, what positive will happen in my life? So if you, it gives you an eyeball look of what I want, why my excuse is, if you notice, it becomes unbalanced. What you want and happiness becomes much more longer compared to not being happy. And that's another visual way of becoming unstuck. So right now, I'm your mentor coach. I'm here to help you. So if you're feeling stuck, feeling embarrassed, not knowing how to exceed, contact me, Ron Johnson, Life Coach. I'll make you a plan where you don't feel stuck, you don't feel that you cannot achieve anything you want, you feel much positive.